Welcome to Paul's Spare Time. Good Friday afternoon to everybody. Hope you are having a wonderful day. This will serve as the live stream announcement and comment video for our mom and pop penny box that we are opening this Sunday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, the, all the rolls have been donated for, so uh, come watch. These boxes are the most fun to open in the world. Uh, it is crazy. So, like I said, this will be the comment video. We will be giving away prizes uh, during this stream. So, to be eligible to win a prize, what do you have to do? Three things. One, read the rules. Make sure you qualify. Two, subscribe to our channel, please. And three, leave a comment on this video. It's just as easy as that. So, what are these prizes going to be? Well, we're going to be giving away five prizes. And they are a start of stream prize, a 50 likes, 100 likes, and every 50 likes thereafter. A closest guess to the oldest coin that we find in the hunt. Which you can guess in your comment if you want. But the contest will be based on the comments in the stream on Sunday and uh, then an end of stream giveaway. So what are we giving away? Well let me show you. Since it's a penny hunt it's only appropriate that we give away pennies. A 1907 Indian head penny that you can still read Liberty in the headdress. All of the pennies will be different years, different uh, uh, grades, but this is a representation of what uh, the prize will be. See the back of the penny and see the wreath. So you will win an Indian head penny. You will also win a 1943 Steely, a 1943 Steel penny. That's cool. Only made in the year 1943. And you will win a blazer. What is a blazer? A blazer is one of those things that we find in these boxes. It is an older penny that looks like the day it was minted. This one does have a few milk spots or water spots on it. But it's a 2009D. And it's representative of some of the coins that we find in these rolls. So that will be the third penny that you will win if you are selected by the random comment picker for the five different giveaways. So again, to enter, leave a comment below. Please subscribe while you're there. Turn on the bell notifications. That would be great. So we are opening penny boxes. This is a ship box. So what is a mom and pop penny box? A mom and pop penny box, in very simple terms, are customer wrapped rolls of pennies that have been returned to the bank and put in a, uh, a penny box. Um, there is a couple on the West Coast that heard of the coin shortage from their granddaughter that works at a bank. Their family had been collecting uh, coins and specifically pennies for generations. They had five gallon buckets full in their uh, attached garage and they decided they wanted to help out with the coin shortage. So uh, they bought them a coin scoop and uh, they uh, started scooping out coins out of these uh, five gallon buckets and uh, wheelbarrows that they have full of coins and uh, rolling it into, letting it roll into a uh, paper coin wrapper, uh, sealing the top, putting them in boxes, and returning them to the bank. Uh, we have a subscriber that has a uh, relationship, a, a friend at the bank, the, uh, the teller that is the uh, granddaughter, and she lets him know when these boxes come in. And these boxes 
have a history of being very, very good. Um, we find, if you can see the scroll going across the bottom, it shows what we found out of the last mom and pop penny box we had. And that's not an indicator of what might be in the next one. But we did find 335 wheat pennies, 43 blazers, those coins that look like they're brand new, 29 2009, 6 steel pennies, 39 foreign coins, 2 oh my gaishas, which were silver dimes that were in the penny rolls, 5 miscellaneous, and we did find a 1913 wheat penny, and the oldest coin we found was an 1893, I believe that was a silver barber dime. So you never know what's going to be in these buckets. I think they have accidentally thrown uh, different coins in the buckets over the years. When they scoop them up, they are just taking whatever's in the scoop and putting it in the penny roll. And we have found crazy stuff in this. We have found silver. We have found unique foreign pennies. We found foreign pennies from uh, all over the world uh, last week. It's really crazy. Um, one time... And we now have a sticker to uh, note it. Hudson found a two and a half peso, Mexican peso, Mexican coin, that was gold uh, in these penny rolls, which is nuts. So we send out these stickers. Uh, the guy on that coin, his name is Miguel, Miguel Hidalgo Castillo. We call him Mikey for short. And there were probably 50 people watching that day, so we have a hashtag I was there for the people that saw it happen because we didn't know what it was when it popped out of the roll. It was crazy. Um, but we send this out to everyone that wins something or donates for rolls in the mom and pop penny boxes or our half dollar hunts that we do on Saturdays at 5 p.m. So, what craziness will be in the mom and pop penny box this week? I have no idea. We didn't find any Indian head pennies last week. We only found one the week before. Will we have a return to Indian head pennies? I don't know. For the donators, we guarantee everyone an Indian head penny. If there's not one in their rolls, we give them one out of our Hudson's Collector's Kit. And so they have an Indian head penny. And uh, they get to keep all the fines uh, from their rolls. It's always a good time. We never know what's going to happen. So come join us, check it out. If you like coin roll hunting, this is about as good as it gets. There will be historically a tremendous amount of finds, and we never know what we might find. So we look forward to seeing you Sunday, 10 a.m. Central Time. Hudson and I will be opening the box, and we have, I think, nine donators for the box this week. So uh, we're wishing them all luck. We wish everyone luck in the uh, giveaways during the stream. And we will see you then when Paul has more spare time.